Ready to blue guard. Read reviews and find the best local pros at homeadvisor.com or download the free app. I don't even got shields in you guys. To help them solve her death. Here again, Josh Mayworth with the Dream House Mystery. Oh, that's Mike Mama 6. Allowed to have a camera. This wasn't the same as Jason. 
Sad police tell Dateline they have no evidence pointing to Matt McDuff. No reason to suspect him at all. And that he was at least an hour away from the crime scene at the time of the murder. In another area of the island with the family of his new girlfriend, who is now his wife. So, where was the motive be? Although there is some unique dynamics that they had in the relationship, there's just nothing. Nothing that would say that he was involved in any way. What's it like to know that she's gone and you don't even know why? You don't even know the motives. That's why we have to find out. Huh. And with police saying the two men who seem to be close to the injury were apparently not involved in her death, police might be able to kill the suspects. Spanish accent. 
and who, along with a man described as white and well dressed, six feet tall with dark, possibly brown hair, set up a showing with Lindsay. Met her at the door of this nearly million dollar home in February 2008, and then viciously stabbed Lindsay to death. The most serious of the crimes was a targeted hit carried out by two killers who brought a knife to a real estate showing. But who would want to kill a young realtor who seemed to have no enemies? It was forcing investigators to think way outside the box. It seems to me that you're really looking for probably at least three people here. I mean, you're looking for the two people in the room that committed that murder. And then I'm guessing whoever paid them. I think you're absolutely right. And it may be that one of those two people who were at the home was in fact the master of the hunter, <coughs> perhaps the money, but I think it's also equally possible and more likely that there's a third or fourth or fifth person involved. It's a clear conspiracy of some significance to wipe out this young realtor. What set of facts possibly fits with that? Large amount of money, large amount of drugs, considerable wrong done to whoever the uh, financier is behind this. Savage police are quick to say, as are Lindsay's family and friends, that there's no evidence she was involved in anything illegal. She was the cleanest girl you ever meet. You can't see her getting involved in anything illegal. No, no. She worked hard to get her license. She wouldn't waste any money. But the longer her murder went unsolved, the more rumors there were. Lindsay was either a witness in a drug case or a police informant. Neither is true, say police, but a drug angle could emerge as a leading theory in her murder. Is there any evidence that Lindsay used recreational drugs? No. There's no evidence that she committed any criminal offenses. Was she associated with or friends with people who were involved in crime? Yeah. Yes, she was. There was an element of people that she associated with that were involved in, in crime. Remember, Victoria is a relatively small town. And because Lindsay was young and liked to go out with us, the crowd she inevitably hung out with would include people who operated on the fringes of the law. So this friend that you've known all your life might end up being your friend, the drug dealer. Could be. You might bump into them at a club, and some of the theories that we developed over the course of this investigation was simply that she had potentially said the wrong thing at the wrong time, or had heard something at the wrong time, and uh, caused her this grief. In fact, police are now exploring an incident that occurred during Lindsay's last visit with her father. While visiting Calgary, Lindsay made contact with at least two men, old friends she grew up with. And just a month later, one of those men was arrested in what police called the largest cocaine bust in Alberta history. 67 kilos, worth more than $6 million. Someone might have been angry, yeah, which not take the place, the and then someone point the finger at Lindsay, because she happened to have been in Calgary at the time. Coincidence, because this is a small town, or maybe she saw something she didn't see. Could go either way. If so, we now know it was not true. Police say Lindsay was not the informant. Police recently have floated this idea that she was killed by mistake. It happens. Um, it doesn't seem very reasonable. Not reasonable. If there's no evidence that they've uncovered that suggests that she was an informant, that she was dining off of drug dealers or a cartel or anything like that, then where's the evidence that the cartel would have that she was doing that? It just seems like a red herring to me. I think her just being there for a weekend to go see her father does not add up. She doesn't sell drugs. She's not in their business. So the idea that this is a personal hit being ordered by drug dealers half a, half a country away makes no logical sense. Whatever the motive is, it's personal. <laughs> A prediction from the unsolved case squad, an admission from police. Oh, sir. We desperately need some help. And a vow from I'm going to find out if it kills me. When the Dreamhouse history is Your number one priority is your kids. Support their immune defenses and digestive balance with cultural kids with the number one.
one pediatrician recommended for love and help keep your kids happy and healthy. Cultural Kids. Desperately need 
some help. This is a highly unusual situation for us here in Canada to be pursuing this in as public a way as, as we are. And that speaks to, I think, our commitment, and but also, to some degree, our desperation uh, as we as we grasp for anything that we can use to bring these people to justice. Is the person behind this somebody Lindsay knows, or is the person behind this someone unknown to her? Someone she knows. Somebody, I think, very close to her. I think it's somebody she knows. Somebody in the same type of business? Correct. I mean, the same real estate firm. The man in the world who actually might have looked for. Oh, that's a problem. It's an unusual complexion of the case that they work together, a man and a male and female working in tandem to commit this kind of violent crime. I also am not convinced that these were highly polished mm. professionals. The way that the crime is committed itself, to me, shows a level of panic, uh, shows a level of uh, unsophistication. I call it uh, plan, not necessarily professional, but plan. Right, well planned. Is there any chance that all of these killers were not known to Lindsay? They weren't planning on murdering her until they went in the house together and then in there something happened, a fight started, she gets killed, or an arrest could be made. Um, somebody has come forward. Yeah, sorry. Unfortunately, that was empty now. She had very little that was touched. So it is a good thing not now. This case is not going to be solved based on the first step. This case is going to be solved by this thing. Somebody's going to talk to us. Or these friends, the lack of an arrest left many people to speak to us. What are you here in so many other I can't live my life every day just knowing that there's somebody out there that is for I can't, can't, stop right that you think that there's somebody out there that is for my best friend. Two years after the death, Lindsay's boyfriend told us there was a kind of numbness that wouldn't go away. I don't think about it anymore. Can you go over the one? No. And for Lindsay's father, there was determination bordering on obsession. There was barely controlled rage. And finally, there was a battle to defend the daughter he couldn't help on that February day. I've not been let her down, Josh. The only way I'm going to stop right now finding out who killed her is die myself. And I'll be dying trying. I guarantee you that. You're going to find out. I am going to find out. If it kills me.
The trouble is, they're not easy to catch, and in a Dateline hidden camera investigation, Chris Hansen takes on the internet predator to beat these cons at their own game. Ever get an email like this? My name is Mrs. Maya Ivanovic. I am suffering from long time cancer of the breast. Before my late husband so died, she passed the sum of $20 million. 20% of this money will be for your time and effort. The writer sometimes appears to be a desperate yeah, character in a far off land, offering millions in reward money if you only help them in their place, usually by sending your own money first. <laughs> if you get a letter like this, you probably but there are thousands of others who take the bait, falling for this global billion dollar racket. In 2005, we introduced you to Pam Crowley. A town treasurer in Wisconsin, she got an email which asked her to help a desperate widow recover her husband's fortune. In return, she'd get a reward of millions of dollars, but only after she gave the fees in advance. Together, people continue to fall for it. It's unfortunate that they do. Special agent John Hammett of the FBI Real Good Crime Complaint Center. Are you speaking? Well, no, they're not. Maybe some are quite well Station point? Nestled along the frozen shoreline of Lake Huron, Harrisville is the seat of Alcona County, Michigan. In the bitter winds of early 2007, residents were freezing in their tracks. And not because of the weather. It shocked me that the guy that I thought was a pretty smart guy could fall for something like that. Told the county check. Yo, what's up? Got an email that Tom. Yo, what's up? Got a mic. Hello. Give me edits. Total of one point two million dollars will be missing from the public bill. After the upcoming county are obviously going to suffer some loss here. Every property owner that pays property taxes is going to feel some sort of loss from this. In May 2007, Katona apologized to open court for pleading guilty to eleven charges, including eight counts of embezzlement and two counts of forgery. Hello. To serve up to fourteen years in prison. The email scam here in Michigan is just the latest and most extreme example of a decades-old problem that the internet has only made more widespread. It's Canada, England, the Netherlands. It's everywhere at this point. The FBI's John Hamrick says at least 10,000 people were victimized by email cons in 2007 alone. The majority of the scams originate in West Africa, especially Nigeria, and are called 419 scams for the Nigerian law, which makes them illegal there. So alone, people are these scammers guys. Mike Myers. The FBI says Nigeria, for instance, has made some progress, but every time a scammer is brought down, another takes its place. And named on emails, these scammers are faceless, phantom, almost impossible to track down. But what if we could take on the challenge of finding some of these rip-off artists? Make it a mission to smoke out some of these con men. From London and other places around the world, with a hidden camera, you'll see how What's a crime turn the table. Oh. An investigation where a financial predator gets something for a rock. You'll make them believe they're the ones who are going to make a point. Yeah, duos. Make it too much for them to resist. Shop differently. Number one doctor recommended brand. Sustained complete. 
with nano droplet technology for better coverage. Give you fast titration, evaporation protection, and long lasting relief. This was more from the eye job. The relief is real. Save now at sustaincomplete.com. There are healthy snacks, there are tasty snacks, and then there are kind bars. Made with ingredients you know and love, like whole nuts, real fruit, and a handful of dark chocolate. Do your taste buds and your body a favor. Do the kind thing. Our heart is magnificent. And put irritation in its place. And if I can get comfortable keeping this ticket safe and protected, you can get comfortable doing the same with yours. Preparation 8. Get comfortable with it. I can't believe it. Bring up the pods, guys. Get him going. Ice cream. What? Mm. What is that? People coming. So watch out. Oh. I got shot from the window. Right there. A bouncy ball. They were reversed out the plane and I was bumped and I started running of all of us. The airport in the city picked me up and I wasn't going to be there and that was satisfying. We need to hire bills and help us. This is to go online to hunt for scams. Soft hits that look suspicious, even worse. It shouldn't take long. We soon realized we might have several scams to invest in. The first came to the form of a business proposition from someone claiming to be a government official in South Africa. He claims there is money locked away in a foreign bank account. Now he can't access himself. Only we can help him transfer money out of that account. And you big reward. The writer asked us to keep this information with the almost distracted. Now it's time for us to infiltrate this scam. So Bill is fine. The official name, Jimmy, is on the phone with someone who is likely an actual criminal. And that's where I step in. He has bigger time, Jimmy DeMarc. I'm very interested in the opportunity. Who wouldn't be? I'm sure I can earn you. 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 I'm sure I
Underarms. Smell, 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 smell. My under eyes. Bond. Eh, eh, eh. See, that's, that's too much second. Just come on and sing. He's like, oh, yeah. Thank you. 
Say go back. Hello? What's up? I bet just join, just join, just join. What's up? You finna get clapped from a season one player. Season one player. I'm a season one player. Yeah. How do you sound? How do you sound? With my try hard skin on. With my try hard skin on. How do you sound, bro? Sounds so retarded. Uh, no, you are. Yeah. What? Say less. My stuff loading, hold up. Uh, no. It's loading. Alright, I'm in. It's loading. Like at the loading screen. It's at the loading screen. No, gun on my island. This one. Wait, no, 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 no. Don't go in yet. Don't go in. Don't go in. Don't don't go in yet. Go out. Alright, let's get out. Let's get out. But this one. Alright. Say go back. Hold up. I don't do something real quick. Hold up. I'm gonna do something real quick. Okay, we first start the game. Don't start it. I've been started it. End it. She just said end it. Yeah, right here. I am gonna clap you. Wait, who? Who? Which skin? Which skin? Oh. 
I need to wait for my the stuff to come like. My ping. It's gonna come back. It's going to spawn it's right here. I, I need that. I need to come back. Oh, my stuff. Oh. Let me change my load up. Don't kill me yet. Oh, don't. don't kill me yet. Come over here, so I can build battle. Oh, get your guns first. Mike. Let's fight. Wait, is this you? The little red skin? Oh. I can't. Yeah, I can't. But don't destroy this. Don't destroy this stuff. All right, come on. <laughs> I have good. Okay, you gonna get B for somebody to play on combat. Me? Yeah. Well, you never said no knocking down, so I can. Don't build the same thing as me. We're going to do best out of five. Spamming. Spamming? You spamming? <gasps> you just knocked me all the way down, bro. No, no, because his uh, floor hit me. And I fell. Your floor hit me. What? No, no, you know, be quiet. So, one kill. Oh, wow, so impressive. Bo, chill out. Stop trying to kill me. Mm -hmm. 
Say God bear. I'm fighting these boys. Because they keep coming after me. And I can't go over there. Be so? <laughs> yeah, I know. Say goodbye. What the hell? Dude, there are three different people trying to call me, bro. What's up? Bro. No, I'm not trash. Because because everybody's was shooting at me. That's the only reason. Is he trash? Is he really that trash? No. Then don't nobody kill me but the dirt burger. So stop killing me, bro. I'm the uh the little uh skin that got the mask over it. No, you're trash, kid. Mm. So, and? I'm better than you. I don't know. You're, you're like a season. No, no, I'm better than you. If you say you're better than him, then just won't be one of them. But you're too scared that you lost. No, I didn't lose. No, be quiet. Trash. Nope. Nope, just got clapped. I'm not dumb like you. So you, so YouTube, this dude just got exposed. Do, do not gonna add this kid. This kid is trash. You get that exposed, bro. Bro, get out of here, kid. Get out of here. She just got exposed. This is the most toxic group ever. They were just talking. They don't even have the battle pass, bro. They're so toxic.